We're going to have a look at the impact of self beliefs on learning. Having a look at why it's important, having a look at uh, an example of how self beliefs impact on a fairly standard learning process, things like an understanding of uh, our strategic planning, where are we now, where are we going and how do we get there, but how we need to understand before we begin that process very clearly who are we, uh, because answering that question will illuminate much about our self beliefs. So we'll have a look at uh, what self beliefs look like in training and uh, the impact that they have for successful learning. Self-beliefs have an enormous impact on the way we live and how we learn, uh, how we think about ourselves and how we structure our beliefs and values uh, has got an enormous potential to both propel and support us, uh, but it can also really impede and derail our learning. Uh, so that's why it's critical to really understand that. We also have to start by accepting that, that culture plays a very significant role in our self-beliefs. Uh, both societal culture, but also workplace culture. And this idea that um, understanding our collective beliefs is a real imperative. It's essential to understand the self-beliefs in our learners. So let's look at an, an example of why that might be important. If we take a, a, a standard process that we might use, like strategic planning, uh, and, and often that is answering a sequence of questions around things like who are we, and where are we now, where are we going, and how do we get there? But quite often, we don't spend enough time on that very first question, who are we? Because it's here that we start un uncovering these self-beliefs. The thing is, if we don't answer that adequately, if we start looking at where are we now, the typical starting point for a strategic planning process, we might be looking at something like a situational analysis, a SWOT analysis. And some people might have beliefs around Everything is about our strengths and everything is about opportunities. The, the world is theirs, is, is theirs for the taking. Some people, though, might have beliefs that everything is about the, the, the weaknesses that we encounter. Um, everything is about the threats that we face and every step forward is, a, is into a p potential pitfall. So we need to monitor our self-beliefs there. So typically, one of the last questions that we resolve is how will we get there? And, and this is where our self-beliefs can, again, really influence our outcomes because how do I believe I'm going to implement this? How successful do I think I'm going to be with implementing these learning outcomes? Uh, but beyond that even, what does that mean in terms of my colleagues, the other stakeholders, and what are their self-beliefs? So again, it becomes imperative that we understand the self-beliefs of as many stakeholders as we can in this learning process. Because as we go back and we begin implementing this, we start seeing self-beliefs have got an enormous impact on how we deliver our learning and the results that we generate.